Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a review of a PLA plastic from Keen Village Plastics or KVP Plastics. And this is a filament I bought from Matterhackers on their website. And I had it for a while and decided to try it out. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament comes in a refill form for a print your own spool, uh, like a master spool clone. It's not quite a master spool, it's uh, a little bit different in diameter and, and size. So it doesn't follow the master spool standard, but they provide the coil and uh, STL for the filament spool. So you can print it out and, and put it on. Uh, for the master spool standard, this one is uh, a little bit different in diameter of them core and this one holds 950 grams of filament but those spools are kilos so those spools are a little bit bigger and those are like a two part that turn together and they're designed in a way that when you put them together it's very difficult to take them apart because of the plastic will bind together so I found it really difficult to use those spools for this filament, but I put it on and, and already printed out a whole spool of this one and this was the second spool I got. Uh, I bought two, two rolls and I want to show you some prints I did with this filament. So like with most of my filament testing I do a stringing test and had this result. It's a really good result and, and almost no stringing to speak of and no issues with, with anything in regard to print and I was really happy to get a filament that had no stringing <laughs> and then I did this bridging test and this also came out excellent and there's a small strand here that's normally the case for this test but this one came out excellent and, and was looking really good I then did those overhang tests and one is facing away from the fan and one is towards the fan and I had similar results with those tests. There was a little bit of drooping here on the topmost part and this one is at 70 degrees uh, so it's a quite steep overhang so it's difficult to get this right but uh, this one had a small, small issue here and very similar to the other one. So 70 degrees was not perfect. I had pretty good results nevertheless. And then printed out this dome test. And here's the dome and here's some overhangs. All came out pretty good. And here's a bridging test also that came out excellent. And, and all complaints. And I printed out two of those and got uh, similar result. I was printing at 210 degrees on the hot end for this filament. And here's another uh, string test I broke off and I was getting pretty good results and got, uh, uh, but on this one I had some remaining of a black filament that was showing through a little bit so I printed another one <laughs> but this was nevertheless pretty good and then printed out the Benchy and that one also came out excellent and, and no issues and I printed this on my Prusa MK3 printer um, this was sliced in Simplify 3D and I was playing around with Simplify 3D and testing some settings um, but this one came out excellent and no complaints so this was turning out to be a really nice filament I then printed my set of Omnoms and Otis and Monicat <laughs> those models came out excellent no complaints uh, um, no stringy here on part of this part. Um, the Omnum came out excellent and, and no drooping. Sometimes I get a little bit of drooping in this area, but this one was coming out excellent and no issues. And also for the money cut, it was looking good. I then printed out a Joel bot and got a <laughs> error at this point. There was a layer skipping and, and some error and I thought it was just one off but I printed another one and got the same error in the same exact place so there was something wrong with the decode and I did a re-slice of the model and then I got this one and uh, it was 
quite funny how they cut <laughs> the head in two <laughs> with those, but uh, this one came out excellent. And uh, there's some strands, like in the difficult parts, like here was a one strand that normally is, and, and also here in the hand, but uh, print quality was pretty good. And here I was having a little bit of trouble with retraction on Simplify 3D, and I was printing several test prints to tune in Simplify 3D, and, and finally got a good, pretty good profile from Filament Frenzy or Tom, and uh, used that and got better results. But that was uh, printed with my uh, own profile. <laughs> His was much better. But those were the prints I did. So this was my quick review of the Keen Village Plastic PLA. It was in a refill form with a, their own master spool clone, I would say. <laughs> it's not exactly like the master spool, it's a little bit bigger spool and, and the core size is a little bit different also. But uh, you can fit those refills on the master spool, but then you can't just close it like halfway. So it can't be used on those spools, but it's quite cramped in there. Um, so I decided to print those. Um, I printed this part here in the, this material. I, I got, like I said in the beginning, two rolls of this filament. Um, uh, I printed this and several other things. That was not for the review that I printed. So I have used a whole roll and a little bit of this one. And I'm fairly happy with this filament. I had no stringing issue and uh, printing with this filament was quite easy. And I was using Prusa Slicer and, and Simplify 3D also uh, tuning in the profile for my Prusa printer. And I printed a lot of test prints while I was tuning in the profile, but that wasn't relevant to this filament review. So I don't have those prints stored. But yeah, overall this filament is pretty good and it's for sale on the Matter Hackers website and you can go on their site. I don't have any affiliate link or anything like that for you so you just go to matterhackers.com to, to get this filament. And they have it in, in different colors of course but I got the right filament to try this out. This video this will be it. I thank you for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and ring that bell on the YouTube thing so I get notifications and I really appreciate that. So for now I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.